Uh, Memphis is a herbivore. Um, he is a grazer, so what that means is he eats grass. Um, so we feed them about 20 kilos a day. Uh, they get about half of that in the morning and half of that at night. Um, and then they graze throughout the day. Come on, man. So Memphis is a white rhino, not because of his colour, because obviously he's not white. He's um, black rhinos are also a grey colour, they are slightly darker than the white. Come here. Memphis. Um, it was basically a mistranslation of uh, an Afrikaans word for wide, uh, like English settlers. Um, so they're actually the wide lipped rhino, and you can see that um, his, his whips are quite wide. Um, and that's used. You're right. And uh, that's actually used to eat grass. So they will graze throughout the day um, on the African savanna, and they can actually use them uh, those lips quite dexterously, a little bit like hands. Um, to pick up all that grass. Um, the black rhino um, oh. is a browser, so what that means is they eat leaves. Um, so their lips are actually different. Their top lip is actually triangular, um, and they use that to pick the leaves off uh, shrubs and trees. Um, the easiest way to tell the difference between a black and a white rhino is look at the head size. So Memphis has a very large head, and that's because he spends all of his time with his head down. So that big hump that he has um, just behind his head, that's actually a muscle and that muscle is used to lift his head because the size of his skull as well as the amount of weight that those two horns have uh, means that he needs that really big muscle. Black rhinos also have it but it's not as large, but their head is a lot smaller because black rhinos spend the majority of their day with their head up um, and that's because they are uh, browsing on shrubs and trees. So rhinos are actually quite intelligent animals who we have quite a large fossil reinforcement program here um, at the zoo. So we can actually take blood from them uh, while they're awake. They have two very big veins in their ears and those are the only places that we can get to that we can take blood from them. Uh, that's a really important tool for us because as much as Memphis and Bakari were both born in a zoo, um, they still 